Game Warden Ryan Hall responds to a big problem. Howdy, gentlemen. <laughs> I told you he was a big alligator. I know. You're right. He's a big alligator. Yeah, that's the one that got my dog. She got over there, and he must have hit her. Blindsided and got her. Several pets have gone missing from homes on the lake. The gator is the prime suspect. You know, it's not every day that you see a 14-foot alligator. It's a shot. You know, you're talking about an alligator that's going to weigh somewhere between 800 and 1,000 pounds. Man, that thing's a dinosaur. A gator this large could easily be 70 years old. I shot a gun right next yeah. to it just to see what he'd do. Never, Never flinched. So I'm from here. This is my home. I love this lake. You know, I grew up seeing the alligators on the lake, and, and I enjoy them. But this gator is not afraid of humans, and the residents are worried. I mean, ultimately, people have encroached into his habitat. I mean, all those houses where these people called in and complained about him, those houses weren't there two years ago, OK? That alligator's been living there all his life. And if possible, I don't think it's fair for us to just have to go kill him because we moved into his territory. Game Warden Hall needs to capture and relocate the gator before it injures any other pets or people. I've got a unique situation here yeah, where it. I can get him versus having to be lethally removed. Yeah. Even though Hall is not fully equipped to catch a gator this large, he needs to take advantage that the gator is out of the water. Yeah, and, and, and get to realize I got to get him out, too. No, you're going to need to hoist him. All right. You know, immediately, that's what I want to do is keep him from getting back in the water. And then we can worry about calling all the logistics sure. in and stuff. Once I get it around his neck and I get him, I'm going to secure him to that tree if he tries to take off. We're going to see how he reacts. When you get up around his head, he's going to be a little more aggressive. Alligators have the strongest bite of any living animal. A gator this large could easily kill a human. See how his front legs are already positioned to kind of run? He's not, he's not liking that. Oh, There he goes right under. I see him now. We'll try it again. This time, I'll be a little more prepared. Uh, maybe have a little better tools. If I can get something where I can get that noose around his head from behind where he can't see it coming, uh, maybe he won't expect it. Paul will round up a team of experts to help him track the gator down and capture it before it strikes again. We'll try again, till it ain't a problem no more. I'm back again with a little better tools, with more help. Uh, I've got a trusted biologist that works for Texas Parks and Wildlife here in my county, Chris Gregory. I enlisted the help of my dad. He's a special game warden here. He's my go-to guy a lot of times when I need help in a, in a pinch. All right, let's see how this contraption's gonna work. I'm a retired Texas game warden. I carry a special game warden commission. Uh, I spent uh, 30 years of my life protecting the wildlife. I think it'll work. It's gonna have to happen a little faster than that, though. Once it gets around his neck. <laughs> of course, Ryan, being my son, I do enjoy working with him from time to time. And he needed another pair of hands, and uh, I volunteered. We're good. Come on. I don't know why that alligator won't just come down here and hang out. The gator is suspected of attacking and eating several pets. But I don't know why he has to go down here and hang out amongst the fancy real estate when he's got all that good natural habitat there. Big enough to go wherever he wants. <laughs> yeah. He's not worried about anybody. The gator is back in someone's yard. Same man, young. I'm hoping that he's going to tire himself out really quick and the rest of the job is going to be easy. But I've got to get him hooked up first. Remember, when I say pool, take off running. I've got to be able to get the lariat rope around this alligator's head from behind and dangle it in front of him like a noose. I'm ready. Don't pull until I say so. Chris is going to try to approach him from the front and try to get him to lift his head up and hiss at him like he did with me yesterday. Because when he does that, I'm going to be able to sense the rope underneath his chin. 
If I tap him and he don't go through the hole, I'm not gonna be in a good spot. He needs to lift his head up. Oh, here we go. Go, 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 go